Hello everybody and welcome back to the Systematic Factory. Today we're doing something slightly different. I have had, in the last couple of weeks, had several people ask me about how I did the change from before this packed snacks update to after it and still managed to keep my achievements. And I'm not really happy with how I can describe how to do it uh, through text. So I thought I would try to do it live and record it and show it to you. So first thing I'm gonna do is load up uh, the world that we had before the PAX and X update. I've actually already done that. And I'm in the world. You're gonna get an error that shows you that the critter updates have changed and things like that. But once you're in the world, all you need to do is go into the options menu, go to game, enable your sandbox tools. It's gonna to give you a warning about needing to back up your files first. Highly recommend you back up all your files. I highly recommend you back up all your files all the time because you don't wanna lose a lot of progress, but um, definitely do not do this and not without backing up and complain to me because I have warned you. Always back up your files. Anyway, once you enable sandbox mode in the game, a couple of things will have changed. One is that you want to do, you'll have the sandbox mode here. So you can do story trait down here. This is the new button they've added into the sandbox mode. If you're not familiar with sandbox mode, it is a um, like a editor for your world. And that's why when you use it, it disables achievements because you could just cheat your way to finish all the achievements. So use this at your, at your uh, own risk. Again, I feel like it's okay to do it because I'm just going to be putting in the story trait building and I'm not going to be making any other changes. Um, if you feel differently about it, don't, don't use it. You'll restart your world. It's, it's up to you, but it is technically a cheat. So under story trait, select the Biobot Builder building or any other building that you wanted to add if you didn't have another building from another update. And then you can just place it in the world. It's going to give you a, a preview showing you what it's going to put. And it's going to replace everything underneath the blocks that are there with the blocks from the Biobot Builder. So don't put it over top of anything you you want to lose or you don't want to lose. If you put it over, it won't allow you to put it where the geysers are because they can't be deleted. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but, it you know, so you will, you will have to select an area where it can be placed. So in, in this case, I think that's because that uh, critter's there. Probably the same over here. But so I put it in this area, so let's put it down. And then you just want to check to make sure everything I put in, especially with this because of the sporkids. Make sure nothing's broken. Make sure the abyssalite's still sealed because you don't want sporkids all over your map. And then um, you could make some more changes, like putting in more abyssalite to fill in the room or whatever you wanted to do. Uh, the less you make changes, the better because it's, you know, you're, you know, like I said, you're in a debug mode. The next thing you do is it's, it's going, if you hit backspace, it'll take you into the, uh, um, debug editor. You just need to go into it and exit it because that's what the flag that we're going to be switching back. I've had problems where I do this and I forget to do that. And then when I go in to load the file, the debug mode flag wasn't flipped. So I can't turn it back off because it wasn't ever turned on. Uh, sandbox mode is supposed to turn it on, but sometimes it doesn't. And then I turn sandbox mode back off and I save the file. You want to save it as something you're going to remember. So let's just save it as packed snacks update okay once you have it saved you can go to the main menu exit the world that you're in the next step that you're going to do is going to be in your web browser so here i am in my web browser if you just search for duplicity ani you will find it but i will have a link in the comment or in the description for you to be able to go to it. Uh, this is an editor. I did not make this. I don't know who made this. It's an old, it's been around for a long time. It hasn't been updated for a while either, but it still works for the purposes we need it to. So you, when you load it up, you get this warning that it may corrupt your files, which is why it's important that you back them up. And 
then it's down at the bottom it says uh, load so we want to click on load we want to go to where our files are saved for me that is in here under oxygen not included under cloud save files here uh, the systematic factory is the name of my world and then we have pack snacks update i think is the one that we just saved yes i have several in there that i did make sure you're loading the right world it'll come up here it'll give a warning saying it's not the version it's expecting just hit override safety checks and load the save it's going to take it a few minutes to parse all the data in the save and load it up for you so that you can see it in here there's a couple of things that we want to see we want to make sure that sandbox mode, I, I always just re enable it here and then disable it just to make sure that this is set, actually set to disabled. And then go to, I go to raw editor. This is the main thing we want to do under game data here. There is a flag that says debug was used. So you want to uncheck that and you want to save the file. It's going to save that file into your download folder. It's, it's going to be here under our downloads. We're going to name this something that will be easy to understand. Packed Snacks After Update. And then we're going to cut that file. And we're going to go to our, back to our save folder, where we have all of our saves. We're going to go into Cloud Save Files and go to... The systematic factory once again and we're going to paste that file in there so now it'll be in with all your other save files back in the game you should now have an update that says packed snacks after update or whatever you named it and you should be able to load that save if you did everything right fingers crossed you should load into your world you should see no sandbox mode when you go to your colony summary you should still see a green check mark and you should see your biobot building but now you have the biobot building you're in the update you still have your achievements a couple of caveats one you can really mess up your world save using this tool be careful <laughs> Uh, if you edit the wrong things in the save editor file, it will that save will corrupt and you will not be able to restore it. Again, backup, backup, backup. Make sure you always have a backup of your files before you make any changes to it. The other thing is, making changes to the world still seems to have some weird effects using duplicity, probably because it's a pretty outdated uh, editor. So after you make changes, even when all you did was something that I consider to be legit, like adding in a story trait building, your save now has, uh, you know, because it has been gone into debug mode and gone out, some things will be odd. So one of the main things that you'll notice is that when you go to do a blueprint, sometimes you will get things in here that you have not discovered yet, which is not an intended fact. That is a problem. I tend to just let it go, and if I get one of those things, I just don't use it. It's up to you how you, how you do that. Uh, again, ultimately, it's your game. However you want to do it is the way that you're going to do it. So if, if that is something that bothers you, Unfortunately, right now, the only option you have is to start the world over from the beginning. But this will allow you to continue on in the world you have with the new story trait building and still get your achievements and still uh, save those achievements. Just like nothing had changed. So I hope it helps you. Uh, I hope it, it's a pretty confusing process. And I will tell you that even me, having done it, on multiple occasions i had to do it several times just to get all the steps right it is pretty difficult so you know your mileage may vary but those are the tools i use to do it hopefully it made sense if you have questions i you know feel free to comment i can try to help out but um it is a you know you're editing files so it, your mileage may vary but i hope that the, it helps you and i will see you in the next one Bye bye